Oh, yeah, right. Who's it about? No, huh? it's about this guy right here. No, don't be going to Bobby. Are we seeing the, the villains? Probably. It's the natural born. Yeah. The natural born villains in MMW? Huh? Okay, here. Yeah, I remember you. You were punk too, huh? Oh, yeah. Last time oh, we were in the video, Michael Weaver was hired by Bob Breckenridge. Show me somebody who's going to make it happen. Really? I'm right here, baby. We got all right here. This could be interesting. Man, I'm so wrong. He's gonna punk me in our house. Right here. Y'all don't even belong here anymore. We might even go over two years out here. I'm gonna make you leave. That's just gonna make you leave, huh? That's just gonna make you leave. There aren't enough people in this building. I don't know who the heck you are. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, boy, man. Start to break out. The real people. They're leaving like blue. We're gonna walk on here. Hey, you made your yard doing this in no church. You want to do this? We can do it out in the parking lot. You want to do it in the parking lot, huh? We can go do this out in the parking lot. I thought it was going to be a lot of that. Hey, the parking lot. I can see this right now, Frosty. Y'all welcome back to MWO Showdown, we're the official online show of the Michigan Wrestling Organization, along with Uncle Hector, I'm your old buddy Hal, we're of course talking about the big one night return of Friday Night Frenzy, September 23rd, the NTC Church in Burton, what's the, what's, Hal, I'm trying to be broski of the week, I, I'm a big part of the Zack Pack, Woo woo woo! Take care. Spike your hair. <laughs> Obviously, Uncle Hector, a big fan of WWE superstar Zack Ryder. Woo woo woo! Trying to be you know it. Broski of the week, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. See, you want to be Broski of the week, hell? All you gotta do is, is like him on the book faces and follow him on the Twitter and uh, w watch his, his Tubu channels and, and buy the T-shirt. Buy the headband and buy the sunglasses, Hal. Take care. Spike your hair. Woo, woo, woo. Well, back to MWO matters here on show now. We got to talk about the tag team division, Uncle Hector. Obviously underwent a huge change here recently at MWO Pro Wrestling Live at the bridge. We're going to take you back there here in a little bit. But unfortunately, one of the great tag teams... In the Michigan Wrestling Organization is you no more. You serious, bro? One of the great teams we have here, ladies and gentlemen, in the Michigan Wrestling Organization is unfortunately no more. Thanks in part to the new team that has formed and focused on the MWO Tag Team Championship. We're talking about Skulls and S Convict Dead X, as they call themselves now. Dead X? They have I'm getting back down here. They have put the final nail in the coffin, so to speak, of former champions greatness incorporated peer fairy Jeff Klaus and Jack Price. Uncle Hector, the entire landscape of the tag team division has changed. It's changing, Hal. It's changing with every passing second. The tag team division, probably the most exciting division going on today, Hal. It certainly could be because you never know what's going to happen. you got to talk about Dead X at this point. Skulls and S. Convict, they're two veterans. Two guys who have done it all here in the Michigan Wrestling Organization, they have consolidated into this enormously successful tag team. Thus far, as we take this program, they remain undefeated, and we're talking about a who's who in the MWO that started the Phoenix Project. They defeated you and Ooga Booga, and most recently, they put to rest Greatness Incorporated. Who did help? I was too busy drinking my coffee. Skulls and next convict. Ooh, dead X. Ooh. They're a force to be reckoned with. I'm, I'm scared of them. They're a force to be reckoned with, and I'll tell you this. Michigan's most wanted may have to deal with them sooner rather than later because they are focused, and they have made their plans to go for the MWO Tag Team Championship, and at this point, after watching them in action, they're undefeated in tag team action. you got to wonder, is there any team maybe other than MMW, that could stop Dead X. 
I don't know how. I mean, me and Uka can try, but we gotta be back home in time to get on our Xbox party, Hal. Xbox indeed, ladies and gentlemen, but right now we're gonna take you to the bridge. And Flint, Michigan, pick this match up in progress, and you will see the very last time that Greatness Incorporated walked to the ring as a tag team because, as you will see, Skulls and S Convict have put to rest one of the great teams here at the MWL. We deserve another shot at tag team glory. At the tag team championship, we deserve another shot. We ran this division for months. Six. Seven. Six or seven months. No way. Oh, wait. You just sit there and be sitting there. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to say this. If we do not win this match tonight, we will no longer be Greatness Incorporated. No. We will leave the tag team division.
apparently X-Con definitely uh, showing his allegiance now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all, there you see, Dead X is dead serious here in the Michigan Wrestling Organization, but Uncle Hector, shocking development there at the tail ends of that match, Executioner Eric Copeland making an unannounced appearance back in the MWO, first time in months that we've seen him, and what a stare down he had with ex-convict. Uh, unannounced, nobody knew he was going to be there, and he had the stare down with his former longtime tag team partner and best friend. Kind of eerie feeling, Hal. It certainly was a very uncomfortable situation at the bridge, ladies and gentlemen, when Eric Copeland came back for whatever reason. We don't, we have not heard one word from this man all we know is that there's some sort of animosity between he and S. Convict, and you got to believe that S. Con's new tag team with Skulls has got to be a direct result of his comeback to the MWO. Going to be certainly interesting to see how that transpires here in the coming weeks, and especially going in to MWO Friday Night Frenzy. When we come back to MWO Showdown, we're going to look at this week's main event, we're going to talk about the battle lines have been drawn in an awesome war on the brink of explosion.